It looked like a corpse-eating monster from hell. That's what the Greek sponge diver screamed when he shot back to the surface in 1900, clawing at his helmet, convinced he'd seen a pile of rotting bodies and horses staring at him from the seabed. His captain thought the man had gone mad from the depths, and the captain dove down himself and realized the diver hadn't seen corpses. He'd seen something far worse, a machine. A bronze, gear-filled, impossibly advanced machine that had no business existing 2,000 years ago. This is the true story of the Antikythera mechanism, the ancient Greek device that's been called the world's first computer and the single most mind-blowing object ever pulled from a shipwreck. Easter Week, 1900. A violent storm forces Captain Dimitrios Kantos and his sponge divers to shelter near the tiny island of Antikythera. While waiting out the weather, one diver, Elias Stadiatis, goes down to 150 feet, insane depth for the gear they had, and comes back up babbling about dead bodies. They salvage the site anyway. Over the next nine months, in freezing water and howling winds, they haul up marble statues, gold jewelry, glassware, and one corroded, shoebox-sized lump of bronze and wood that nobody can identify. It gets tossed into a courtyard storage at the Athens Museum and forgotten. Until 1902, when an archaeologist notices something impossible sticking out of the cracked lump. A precision gear wheel. Then another. Then tiny Greek letters. This wasn't a piece of jewelry. This was mechanical. And clocks, let alone computers, wouldn't exist for another 1-400 years. For decades, experts called it a hoax, or a medieval astrolabe that fell into the wreck later. Then, in the 1970s, the first x-rays were taken. What they revealed made grown scientists sit down and swear out loud. Inside, the corroded fragments were at least 37 meshing bronze gears, some no bigger than a fingernail arranged in a complexity that wouldn't be seen again until 18th century Swiss watches. Turn the crank on the side and the dials showed. The exact position of the sun and moon in the sky. The phase of the moon. When the next solar and lunar eclipses would happen, it even knew the moon speeds up and slows down in its orbit. The dates of future Olympic Games a 19-year calendar that perfectly synced lunar and solar cycles. This wasn't just an astronomical calculator. It was a mechanical model of the entire known universe, built around 150-100 BC, probably in the workshop tradition of Archimedes himself. Modern reconstructions prove it's accurate to within one degree over centuries. Let that sink in.